Hey there viewer, today we are going to go through the uh, lightning flow module. It's about automating processes for every app experience and portal with declarative tools. You can find it through trailhead.salesforce.com and just type uh, lightning flow into the search box. So let's get started with the first one, choose the right automation tool. Learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to list the tools in Lightning Flow, describe the tools available for automating guided visual experiences, describe and compare the tools available for behind the scenes automation, describe the tools for approval automation. People expect automation, no matter whether they are buying movie tickets, paying bills or changing restaurant reservations, if a customer is interacting with a, customer, with a company, they expect a seamless personalized experience. For example, when a customer needs to replace your credit card, the average service agent needs to know a bunch of things. Is it damaged, lost or stolen? If it's stolen, is she worried about a recent transaction? Where should we send the new card? Serving a customer in this situation and gathering and maintaining related data can involve separate systems with varying degrees of complexity. Automation used to be hard. Providing a seamless, automated customer experience has historically been challenging, time-consuming and code-heavy. Depending on the precise nature of your business process, you may have had to integrate various systems, configure process logic, design and build an end-user experience, make the experience available from anywhere, desktop or mobile devices, internal apps or external portals. Meet Lightning Flow. Lightning Flow provides declarative process automation for every Salesforce app experience and portal. Included in Lightning Flow are two point and click automation tools Process Builder, which lets you build processes, and Flow Builder, which lets you build flows to sum up the difference. Lightning Flow is the name of the product, Process Builder and Flow Builder are the name of the tools. Use Process Builder to make processes, use Flow Builder to make flows. Later we talk about when to use each tool, but for now there's a sneak peek at what the business processes look like in each tool. Process Builder, you can start the process here. The opportunity is close this one, then this happens, if not, then this happens. Flow Builder I guess that's when certain actions happen, I'm not sure. With these two tools, Lightning Flow makes it easy for you to do the following. Use case, create a guided tutorial or wizard with screens. Flow Builder includes several out-of-the-box screen components like text boxes, radio buttons and file uploads. If you need more than what's offered, add custom lightning components to your screens. Set up automated tasks and processes, declarative configure tools and actions for your business process with either process builder or flow builder. If needed, you can build custom Apex code to fill any functional gaps. Connect to external systems. Communicate changes between your Salesforce org and your external systems with platform events. Process Builder and Flow Builder let you respond to and send platform event messages. In addition, Flow Builder can retrieve data from third-party systems with external services. Add automation to your pages and apps. Make sure your behind-the-scenes processes start when the right action happens. Whether that's when records change or when users click a particular button. Once you build guided visual experiences, add them to lightning pages, community pages, the utility bar in your lightning apps and more. 
reuse what you build in flow builder any flow can be used as a subflow in process builder create an invocable process to reuse that process log the logic or actions in other business processes which automation tool is the right for my use case when it's all said and done, a process-driven experience isn't backed by only one process. It's a combination of all these business processes in your org that can impact your customer. Each business process typically falls into one of these camps. Guided visual experience. Business processes that need input from users, whether they are employees or customers. Flow Builder. Behind the scenes automation, business processes that get the necessary data from your Salesforce org or connected system. In other words, users' input isn't needed. Process Builder, Flow Builder, Apex. Approval automation. Business processes can determine how a record, like a time of request, gets approved by the right stakeholders. Available tools, approvals. Okay, that wasn't even mentioned here as a separate tool before from processes to flows to apex one of the hardest things for an admin or a developer to figure out is when to use what tool for the job at hand in general it's best to start with declarative no code tools and work your way to code solutions process builder Use Process Builder when you need to start a behind-the-scenes business process automatically. Processes can start when a record is created, when a record is updated, or when a platform event occurs. Flow Builder. Use Flow Builder to automate a guided visual experience, add more functionality for a behind-the-scenes process than is available in Process Builder. Use Flow Builder to build the more complex functionality. Then call the resulting flow from the process. Start a behind the scenes business process when a user clicks something like a button. For example, when an opportunity is won, your company wants a renewal opportunity to create it automatically. As you see later in this module, you can build parts on what that use case, what that use case as a process, but the rest has to be built in a flow. Apex. Use Apex when you need more functionality than is available in Process Builder or Flow Builder. Build the more complex functionality as invocable Apex method, then call the resulting Apex as an Apex action in the process or as an Apex action element in the flow. Now let's see these principles and practice with a few sample scenarios. Sample scenarios. Guide a community member through requesting a new credit card with a step-by-step -step wizard. You can use Flow Builder for that. What you build is a flow. A sales rep clicks a button on an opportunity which launches a discount calculator. You would need to use the Flow Builder. What you build is a flow. When an account is updated, update all of the contacts related to that account. Process Builder. What you build is a process. When an opportunity stage is updated, also update a custom checkbox field. Use a process builder for that and what you build is a process. Create a task when a platform event occurs. What you use is a process builder and what you build is a process. Scenario, update a lead record in Salesforce after a certain amount of time passes or when a specified time is reached. What you use as a process builder and what you build is a process. When an opportunity closes, automatically create a renewal opportunity. Process builder and flow builder use apparently both process and flow. Route an employee's time of request to a manager for approval. The tool is approvals and what you build is an approvals process. Wait, what's an approvals process? That's what I was wondering too. Surprise, we snuck another tool in here. Approvals isn't included in Lightning Flow, but it offers a declarative way 
to automate something that Lightning Flow doesn't cover. Let's say Lightning Flow does support automating how a record gets submitted for approval. You will learn more about approvals later in this module. What about workflow rules? If you are not already, already using workflow, you should check out Process Builder and Flow Builder first. They have more features and you can do more things. Plus Flow Builder includes all new functionality for behind the scenes automation. Which tools are included with Lightning Flow products? Lightning Experience and Flow Builder, Lightning App Builder and Process Builder, Process Builder and Flow Builder, Process Builder, Flow Builder and Approvals. Lightning Flow product. Apparently it's just uh, the process builder and the flow builder, the approvals is a separate tool. Which declarative tool you use for the following use case? Guide customers through the process of troubleshooting issues with your products. That would be the flow builder. More of a visual thing, so I would say it's a flow builder. Which declarative tool would you use for the following use case? When an opportunity discount is higher than 30%, notify the CEO by email and request sign off. Provide a way for a CEO to leave comments. I'll say that's an approvals process. Which declarative tool would you use for the following use case? When the annual revenue field exceeds 500,000 US dollars on an account, automatically update the customer priority field to high. I would say that's the process builder, so let's check the quiz. And we got the 100 points, so let's tackle the next unit.